Hi. Okay. Here we are with part two. Um, this is quite a long one, so it'd be a miracle if I get through this with no mistakes. But we're going to now we're going to batch pre-process our horsehead nebula images that we blinked in the previous video. So we know we've got good images, and now we're going to run them through the script. Now, how do we find it? Well, this is a script. This is not a process. So along the top, go to script, left click, batch processing, and just drag the mouse down, batch pre-processing. Up pops quite a uh, daunting screen to start with, but trust me, it's very easy. Once you've done it a couple of times, no problems at all. Uh, we're not going to we're not going to be looking at any of the center. Um, um, parameters and settings because we're going to break the process into two parts. So all we're going to do with this script is register the images. So how do we do that? Lights. We need to add our files. Now we add our lights. There's two ways of adding files. One, we can go to add files and you can add all of your uh, if you've got LRGB, you can add all of those. You can put all of your flats, all of your darks, all your bias, and the script will put it all into order. All very well and lovely if you've got your fits headers are all correct. And trust me, running that script will take an age. So I prefer to break it down and just do it manually. And it gives you time to double check, make sure you've got everything correct. And the way to do that is we just click on lights, add lights, go to our folder where we've kept our images that we was doing yesterday, um, and we're working with Piggy, and then my cameras are both named, so they're Piggy and Kermit, uh, that's why you see two files there. Um, and we did the HA900s, there's all of our files, we're going to add all the files, so click on the first one, Shift, drag down to the bottom, click on the last one, open. All of the files are added. Click on flats, add flats. Now I keep all of my um, calibration frames in a separate folder, so back to desktop, and obviously I have to because two cameras. Um, so we're we'll working with Piggy. And all of mine are masters. Um, the script automatically generates masters for you. Um, and obviously, once you've got your master, there's no point in keeping all of the separate frames on your computer. So delete all of the separate frames and just use your masters. Obviously, I've done that, so I've not got my separate frames to add to show you that. But I, can, I will show you where it will be generated. It's very simple. Um, so... I'm adding my HA master um, flat. Now I know it's filter five. So um, normally in here it would say HA. If you've got your fits set correctly, when you record your flats, it would say HA flat, not filter five. It's because I took these on Nebulosity 3 and 4, so they changed the process in between the old Nebulosity and the new Nebulosity. Now you can actually name your um, filters. You couldn't before. So that's why I've got filter 5. But it's actually a good thing because I can show you an error, which is quite a common error, that this throws up. Um, so moving on, darks. Add our darks back we know it was at 900 seconds and add bias add bias so now we've got our bias darks flats lights we go over to the right hand side of the screen we're using masters so we need to check the use master flat use master dark use master bias we want to export the calibration frames because and that will take it to our folder and it will keep all of our masters and everything in order we no point in generating uh, rejection maps because we're not integrating the frames. And we are going to leave the optimized dark frames checked for the moment. There's a debate whether it's good or whether it's better or not. That's for later. Um, 
Next thing we need to do, we need to select an output directory. So this is the file where you want your calibrated and registered images to go to. So if we just click on the little icon, Horsehead Nebula, uh, I'm doing Piggy, and I'm doing um, 900. So, and then I'm going to add a new folder in there, and we just call it Batch Preprocessing. So that's where all the, all the new files will go to Piggy Horsehead HA900 Batch Preprocessing. Perfect. Uh, next, we need a registration image. Now, the registration image is the image that all of the other all of the other images will register to. So, if you're doing LRGB, you select one image. Normally, if you're doing LRGB, it will be a luminance. If you're doing um, a narrowband, it would normally be a HA. So, when you're blinking your images, pick a nice image, a good, nice, crisp, good quality image as your registration frame. Now we know from Blink that all of these full set images were pretty good so we're just going to go to the middle of the stack and we'll pick uh, series 3 number 10. Double click and it will automatically put that in as your registration image. So that now is set as your registration image. Now it's a good idea to make a note of that image so you know which one that is because if you have a power cut or you lose your, um, you have to leave the computer, turn it off for any reason, and you come back halfway through doing your batch pre-processing, it's a problem if you can't remember what that registration image is. So just make a little note. Um, and another safeguard is at this point, um, we can also save this whole process. Once we've checked the diagnostics and made sure everything's correct, I'll show you how we do that. So we've filled in all our details. Um, we're not going to do any um, integration, so we just leave them unchecked. And now we just check the diagnostics. And it tells us that we've got invalid file names and no flats have been selected. Well, we know there's flats selected, but the problem arises, and this is a common problem that people get and really struggle how to sort, is that if this identifier on the second line down does not correspond with the light frames, it won't know that they, the flats are for these HA frames. So we go to the flats, it says filter 5. It's got to say HA, spelled exactly the same. You must, the spelling has got to be the same, otherwise you'll still get the same error. So, way to cure that is we go to our flats, clear that out of there, we go to add custom, add files, we go to our flats, we know it's the number 5, double click, and then we call it what we want to call it. So, we know it's a flat frame and we need to call it HA, spelt the same, and OK. So now we've got HA, the same as the lights. If we check the diagnostics, now all is OK. Now, now we've got that all done, all good, we need to just safeguard ourselves again by saving this script. And the way we save the script, and the way we save on most tools, all of the tools we're going to use have in the left hand corner, there is a new instance icon, the triangle. All you do, left click, drag to the screen and drop. So now we've got all of this process inside this icon. So if we exit and say yes and delete all of that, so now we've lost all of that information. If we come back at a later time, double click the icon, hit the global apply button, so this round button, the same on all of the tools or all the tools that have got the global apply, is the round button that will fire up our scripts and all of our details are intact so that's ready to run. Once the script is open, because it's a script we can't actually do anything else on the screen so whilst this is running 
It's very uh, computer hungry. We, you just have to wait. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, run the, the script, and while it's running, I should just pause the video and come back once it's finished its process. So I hit run. On the left-hand side, you'll see um, as it selects each of the images, and it, it will register them all to that one registration image. All of this information is in here. Don't really need to be looking at it or knowing what's going on at this point in time. There's lots of interesting stuff, but it's not for us for the minute. We're just going to try and keep it pretty simple. So I shall pause the video so we're not wasting loads of time and be back in a minute. Okay, so the script has run. Now, you know it's run because the um, batch preprocessing page pops back up once it's finished. So now we've got all of our calibrated frames will be nicely put in the folders for us. So we'll save the screen again. Just get in the habit of save, save, save. If you keep putting these icons off, it just makes life easy. If you forget something, you can just go back. Then you need to exit, otherwise you can't do anything on the screen. Yes, we can get rid of that as well. So now if we go to our um, file where we kept our images, we can see them all. So file, open, is one way of doing it, going to the desktop, or the easier way, double click on the screen, and it takes us back into the PC as well. So all said, we're doing big eight, and we're doing 900s, and so now we've got this folder has popped up, BPP, batch preprocessing, double click, so now we've got a set of calibrated frames and you can tell that because it's got the little C and we've also got a set of HA calibrated and registered so the C and the R and then also there would be another folder here that would say master and in the masters you would have your master frames generated from your stack of bias darks and flats so once that pops up then save them to a master folder on your PC so that is it for the image um, batch preprocessing we're going to come back with the next video and um, I'm going to do integration so that will actually give us our image from our integrated stack of files so I hope that's um, made that just a bit simpler, quite easy. Once you've done it a couple of times, very, very simple. Okay, thanks and speak to you soon.